Hi, I'm Pedro. Welcome to Sousa Farm. Today is cold, it's February. So I decided to just go around, show you guys the farm and the animals on it. So we'll start with this one. That's our guard dog, it's a husky. His name is Blue. He's one eyed dog. He lost his eye a couple of years ago. We took care of that, and now he just stays here at the farm and washes over and pretty much he's very friendly. All he wants is to play and treats. Hmm? Okay, let's go for a walk then. So, here we have our pig barn. We built it last year. As you guys can see, this is one of the pens. We'll get big soon. This is another pen. And that's another one. Those three pigs. That's Blue's house. Goes inside through there and he has a nice and warm spot inside the big barn. He stays outside, he loves it, he hates being inside. The other day it was minus 40 and he was laying outside. That's our butcher. We butcher the animals for meat. Uh, we'll go see the bees. We have bees. We start three years ago, I think, with bees, and we start with the two hives. We split from there, made more hives, and um, and last year we had the bear attack. We'll get into that later. So right now, as you can see, snow is very deep. I'd say about two feet, maybe more. It's packed nice though. So the bees are sleeping. Oh, this is winter. They will not come out. Maybe, maybe tomorrow. It's a nice sunny day. They'll come out. So we wrap them up. They're in pallets. Four hives a pallet. So that's what they do in the winter. They just stay inside, eat the food, and they don't do pretty much nothing. Besides coming out on a sunny day to go to the bathroom, obviously. Oh, that's a bee shed over there. This is our farm, as you can see, it's not big, our farm is 13 acres, we use about 10 for the animals and 3, that would be the wood lot at the front, there will be a house there one day. So, as you can see down there, we have corn and beans for the deer, we have our deer, blind, we hunt here too. And then that corner just woods, and the rest would be pasture for the cattle. Now, let's go show you guys something that you don't see very often, not in Canada, not in Norway at least. So this place used to be just like that down there. Used to be all lot, all woods. Not maybe a couple acres were open with some small trees on it. So we got the place about five years ago. We clean up everything. We cut all the trees in the beginning. I had a small tractor, I was trying to pull the stumps myself. Well, that didn't work. There was just way too many to do. So last year, in the fall, I hired a guy to come with a big machine and grind everything now. And that's why you see it so open right now. Now, what you're talking about is this. So today is minus 15. As you can see, that's what I like about this place, is we have water coming out of the ground. 
So I think it's something. Not sure why it's coming up here, to be honest, but I know she's coming up there. So it's a pond, eh, small hole, it's called that. I dig it down about 16 feet a couple years ago. I hit bedrock, water started coming out. I thought it was a spring, but I'm pretty sure it's something else. I'm going to try and figure that out this year because the water is really hot when it comes out and I wonder what it could be. So I know I found a pipe there. When I dig it out, I never thought about what it could be, but I'm thinking maybe drain or something from somewhere. So the good thing about it is it's nice and clear, crystal clear water, very clean. And as you see, I built the cattle winter pasture around it never freezes if minus 40 will be smoking looks like a jacuzzi and that's where the cattle get the water in the winter so i don't have to worry about water the cattle so let's go this way and i'll show you the little buggers see they're probably hiding so those trucks you see that's a coyote they come by I'm trying to figure out how to get rid of them that's a work of progress so that's a big building we put a couple years ago now See if I can call them. As you see, the snow is about, well, that's eight feet over there, so it's about eight feet against the building. Now, this is going to be the cattle enclosure for the winter. Take them out. Come on, cows. Come on, cows. See if they will decide to come up. We have a big round bell in there. That'll last them a couple of weeks because I don't have that many cows. Come on, cows. Hmm. Maybe not. Come on, cows. Hmm. Let's go see them. Let's go see. So the cows, they stay outside the arrow. There is one. red the little one behind is cuckoo and the tiny one there the mom that's mini and this one is big boss cow they're gonna go for water probably so the front one is a dexter with the red calf that's a dexter the back one i don't know the guy said it was a dexter but looks to me more angus than dexter but i guess we'll figure it out soon so there are two cows, two heifers, the calves, and this must be pregnant. Let's see about that. Now they stay outside here. They have a lot of food. And that's the inside closure. That's where I feed them most of the grain, some good hay over there. And they stay in here and minerals of course and then they come out so they're going for the water there they go they're really friendly as you guys can see they just take a walk down there have their drink and they come right back So yeah, it's not much to do this time of the year. We'll get busy in a couple next months. We do chickens, a lot of them, for our own meat and uh, we have eggs, we sell some eggs. Um, 
all our animals are free range so obviously there's no such a thing as free range in Canada in the winter it's uh, wouldn't work pretty good so that's all the equipment we'll get into that later obviously more equipment that's the edge gonna be built it last year see it has electric fence all around it that's gonna be your pig shelter and then they come out and they can do what pigs do just make holes everywhere I guess and be free so they'll get some roots and some greens probably will grow in there but not much now it's blue Another thing, well, you can see it is burning the snow, but so that little square box on there that's where we raise our white rocks or meat birds, they go on pasture, and uh, we move them every day, every two days, depending on how many you have in there, and you cannot get any better than that. This is the chicken coop for the winter. So it's a. Uh, this thing is huge. This thing is like 40 feet long. That is our layers. So they have a hole, they go on the other side. The other side is 20 by 15, something like that. This one is another 20 by 16, probably. So this used to be a Gatna garage. I can cover it all and I put plastic on top and it's really warm in there, it's like 10 degrees inside there and the chickens love it they lay eggs through the winter never stop it's the other side of it it's really warm in there and it's all as you can see clear so the sun hits that place and gets really hot inside and all the snow slides right off that's all good shit running low and that's our camper and i'll show you the other thing we use here for the layers in the spring summer and fall we call it the Layer Mortel Chicken Hotel There it is Built by professionals So Obviously you can see This is done Cost effective We don't spend too much money in the farm it's really nice though. I don't know if you should get it. There you go. That's the egg box. It's a floor. So basically it's a wagon and we build the thing on top. So the chickens go in here in the spring. And they have a little automatic door there that opens and closes. In the morning and close at night the chickens will get in no problem with that and we don't have to worry about coyotes or anything to get them or foxes because they're nice and cozy inside there so this goes on pasture around april beginning of may we put electric net around it and the chickens love it. And the eggs are a lot better too. So that's pretty much it for the farm. It's not much to show in the winter. We have some garden boxes we use. We grow strawberries in there. They do pretty well. And uh, it's a lot of trees and stuff that you can see right now. And in the front, I will do maple syrup. That's all maples. 
we do quite a lot of maple syrup actually and uh, that's just how we roll so anyway we'll post more videos if this channel takes off obviously I'm no professional just filming this on my phone have no money to invest on this we uh, use our money very wisely around here. Right, Blue? <laughs> so, anyways, like and subscribe. Thank you.